Oh my gosh, the cage is shut. The cage is shut. It's shut. Oh my God, that cage is shut. There's nothing in it though. There's nothing in that, oh my gosh. Is there something in that cage? Both cages are shut, again. Raccoon, are you in there? Doesn't sound like it. I am for sure dealing. 110% I'm dealing with the world's smartest raccoons. I feel like if I was living, it, I feel like if this house was located out in the country, I would have no issues trapping raccoons, like whatsoever. But these raccoons are a different breed. They for sure have been caught before. There's no way they have not been caught. There's no way. Trail cameras are up, trail cameras are on. We will go look at that footage. Like, just let's go look at this real quick. Is there a raccoon in here? This, this is the last time they're getting out of these cages. I'm going to come up with a way where they cannot, they cannot get out of these. There's no way, it's not gonna happen again. I'm gonna, well, you know, we're gonna go inside right now. I'm not gonna wait till the end of the video. I'm not gonna do that because right now I'm gonna figure out how we can keep these cages closed. There, it's, it's gotta be another little freaking buddy just coming up and like yank, cause all they gotta do, like this is what's holding it down. So look, if you're on the inside, you can't push up, okay? You cannot push up. So these things are smart enough. To, I mean, look at this thing, it's bent. They've got to be lifting up and then coming out. That's the only way to get out of these things. That's two. Two raccoons. Okay, idea. Idea number one here. Coat hanger. This bar right here, this is the bar. If this bar gets up, this trap can come up, okay? Common sense. So if that bar stays down, like literally attached to it, if I can attach this bar to it, there's no way they can actually get it up. That means we'd have to figure out how to remove the wire. But if I take this and I wire it, literally wire it to this flap. See the flap? That, that should work. He must have a raccoon problem too. That idea didn't work. I have another one. Gotta go to Academy for it though. You gotta get small, all different kinds of sizes of elastic bands. This one says it's made for raccoons. Now look how much different this one is. Like there's one, one trip, two ends. So they can flow in and right when it happens, in. But there's, this one is sturdy. If they get out of this, I will be so shocked. Way more sturdy than this thing. I mean, look at this. This thing got all bent. I have made the decision that I'm going to come up here and I'm going to stake them out no matter what. I'm going to set up three traps tonight. Three traps. I'm coming back up here and I'm going to sit here with the lights off. I'm going to go get my nods, my night vision, and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait and I'm going to watch them. I'm going to get to grab the birthday cam. It's going to be, we're going to do it a little bit differently. I'm not going to let them win. I hate losing and I'm not going to let raccoons beat me. But you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll go over some of the footage with you guys so you guys can kind of have an idea what I'm talking about. Like, I'll give you guys a full screen kind of dealio. So I'm gonna pop this up and uh, we will hop right into that. Okay, I have about a, I just put together all the pieces of the, the clips for you guys. So it kind of makes sense. So they come in, you'll see here in a second, they come in at 9.30 at night and they stay pretty much all night. So I have to be here tonight. I wanna be here probably around eight. Here is the actual footage that you guys are gonna, I'm just gonna let it roll. I might talk over it a little bit. I don't know if there's any sound on this. Yeah, there is some sound. Okay, so some sound, so I'm just gonna let it roll and we will go from there. You'll see it's 2129. First little raccoon comes in, you know, and then he goes off screen. A couple minutes later, comes back, checks that trap. Oh yeah, you like that trap? Oh, here we go. 20, it's 11 o'clock, 11.05. I got two that are trapped. I don't know why nothing else in between there. Three minutes later, there's only one inside the cage. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh, five minutes later, there's nothing in the cage, they're out. And now they're just roaming. It is now 11, 11 at night. Oh, here we go. Four minutes later, oh, here, oh, oh. Now they're getting in the tree. Oh, they wanna get in the tree, okay. 11, 15 at night, 11, 17. Just rolling, just in the tree, just playing. Look at them, look at them, eyes. Oh, here they go. Oh, how cute they are. Oh yeah, you're so cute. Here you go. Here's some more. What do we got? Oh, it's now almost 1 a.m. Still back. It's 102. What are you doing, little raccoon? Oh, I'm nothing. Just kind of sniffing around. 4.40 in the morning. This raccoon is still chilling around this cage. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, my lands. 4.41 and there's four raccoons and they're munching on God knows what right now. 
Look at them. Oh, that's a honey bun wrapper. And it is 510, and that one is digging in the dirt. Oh, you're gonna get caught. I promise you guys I'm gonna, oh, here we go, 514, back at the honey bun wrapper. Just getting it, just licking away. Oh yeah, that tastes so good. 514 again, oh, yep. Now we got the nice booty shot of the raccoon. Oh yeah, just eating away in the grass. It's all right, guys. It's coming, I'm coming. Tiny guys, I'm coming for these raccoons. Here is my last thing before I leave. I grabbed these really, 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 really small bungee cords, the smallest ones I could find, and I was like, I need to keep that that uh, that rod down, like I told you guys. I came up with this. See what I mean? Shuts it, applies really good tension on it. I guess it's better than nothing. That's the last thing. That's the last time I'm messing with these. I'll see you guys back wherever wherever I'm going next. I don't know. It's getting warm out. Here we go. This is what I got set up. I got, I'm gonna bring this, because you always need this for good luck. This is the camera we're about to switch over to. That doesn't matter. Nods, this is what I'm gonna try to close it with. What do you think back there? But I don't believe I've showed you guys any of this kind of stuff. The hats, tons of new hats are in. This one, the Guggen Squad, it's a patch. It's, a, it's literally a patch on the hat. Mine, patch. This one, it's another one of mine. Patch is more of like a flat bill style for you guys like flat bills. And then you got this one, the home one. There's also another one. Oh, no, no, no. There's a Never Fear Anything one with a patch on it that is out in her car. That is where it's at. But uh, if you guys want one of those hats, they'll be linked down below. Help me out. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Everybody wears hats. I love hats, as this one, as you guys can tell. But let's head over there. Let's go see if we can uh, trap these, these raccoons. I, I need to get a pair of gloves. And you know what? Just for the occasion, I'm going to go ahead and just put that hat down there. It's time, boys. This one's... I promise you, I didn't buy this at a gas station. All right, here we go. We got this. This is this is the attire for the rest of the night. All right, we're on the birthday cam. Here we go. I just tried these. They do work. Check out the dowel rod situation. So my goal is, so if we do catch them inside this trap, like say this trap right here, that one, I'll be able to come up, take this dowel rod, just like just like that, just like that. So now he can't open it up. He can't do anything. Even if they wanted to, there's like, look, that's as far up as it's gonna go. I think we found a solution there. But well, we're gonna set up these traps and uh, we're just gonna chill right here. Right there, right behind that window. They came in last night at 9.30 at night. It's 8.15. All right, little buddy. See you and me tonight again. Trap set, honey buns, honey buns, marshmallows, honey buns, marshmallows. All right, traps. Don't let me down, I'll be right inside this time. It's 9.44. I have not seen a thing yet. All the marshmallows are still there. I've been peeping through the window every like 10 minutes or so with this nods, kind of scanning, waiting, and they have not come yet. Not a single one is back there. I mean, yesterday at this time, they were back there. So I'll just kind of, kind of chill and just wait. What was that noise? I'm just sitting here and all of a sudden I hear some clank outside. Trap is down. Right. I got one in the trap right now. Now the question is, do I wait? Actually, I don't know if he's in the trap. The trap's closed though, because I face all the traps towards me so I can see. Do I wait or do I walk outside? He's gonna let himself out if I don't go out there and shove that pole in there. That's, that's the problem, but I could get more. Should I wait like five minutes? Oh, the questions. Time update, 10, 15, They're kind of on the schedule. I can't tell if the raccoon, if there's a raccoon inside the trap or not, but there's one outside of it. I'm getting way too excited for this. I don't know, really know why. I don't want to leave him out there for too long without, without going out there and shoving that rod in there because I know over the last few days they've gotten out. I don't want to lose a fi fish. Fish? Fish? It's always on the mind. No, raccoon. We're not going to lose a raccoon. Oh yeah, he's in there for sure. I can see his little paws reaching out. He's reaching out, he's reaching out. Okay, now what do we do? Do we go out there? We shove that pole in there. All right, you boys ready for this? We're about to kick on the big headlamp. He's kicking his arms out. I can see him. We gotta hurry up. You're not getting away this from me, raccoon. Guys, there's like 40 raccoons in the backyard. You son of a... Oh, I'm gonna say this right now. I am 1,000% sure I am dealing with some of the smartest raccoons on planet Earth. It is now 1.42 in the morning, and there are three raccoons that came back outside. Right now they're munching on the marshmallows. 
going and going to town on them. I'm gonna sit here and see if they're going. They know that it's a trap. This one, they're all going on the round on the outside of it, but there's two honey buns on the inside. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch them and see if we can get these things. I just watched this raccoon go inside the cage, grab the honey bone, and get out without setting off the trap. This is when I wish. Okay, we got 1.50 in the morning. They pretty much cleaned me out of all the sugary sweets that are outside. They leave. I'm gonna sit here and watch them. They leave. Probably gonna go out and stick some more succulent food outside for them. There, there, there. Traps reset, ready to go. If we don't catch them, it's not due to the lack of trying. I'm trying to figure out why the new trap that I, I, I got, they didn't even set it off. I think next time I'm gonna go for the more dangling food approach inside of these things. So they have more time inside there. You guys are seeing firsthand that these are some freaking smart raccoons. The neighbor, the dog next door woke me up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Ricky the raccoon has been caught. I've caught one of 12. It sounds really bad saying that out loud, but I've got one. I've got one of 12. There he is. There's Mr. Ricky. We got him in the good trap. It is a good trap because that's the only trap that's worked. This one. Look, they closed them both again. I'm about to go get like three of these traps and that's the only ones I'm gonna use. So I got a guy coming over. Uh, he's the guy that came over here last time. He's a good gentleman. He's actually a sub that told me everything about these little critters. He's the one that got the possum the first time. Um, he's gonna show me where I need to take them because I have no idea where I need to take them. Pretty much the deal. We're gonna go release this thing. I was going to do it myself, I was going to have him drop me a pin, and he's like, well, you got to do it a certain way, they might turn around and come at you sometimes, and alright, well, I'm going to go learn from the guy who knows how to do it, and then I'll just go do it myself after this. What are you doing, Ricky? I see you trying to get out of that cage. What are you doing, Ricky? What are you doing, little dude? Tiny one, when I went to grab it, it grabbed my glove and started pulling it in. Really? <laughs> like, oh, well, see, whoa. What's going on, Ricky? Chill out. That's it, that's all you got to do. Well, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wow, he didn't like that. Okay, you're good. What's wrong with you? Okay, all right. That's what the pan's for. That's, okay, now I see what's going on here. You're facing the wrong way, dude. That's it. <laughs> He's gone. That's it. I think this is a lot better than where he was. How many times did they actually come back and come at you? If you were to do it 10 times, how many times have they actually came back at Once. you? Once. One in 10. Mm. One in 10 times. Okay. It's pretty good odds, actually. We got that right. We had five trap last night. Four of them got out of those cheap, well, they're not cheap traps, but they're cheaply made. Don't buy those traps, they're $84, the ones I sell at Bass Pro. Don't buy them. The one I bought was a $55 one from Academy and it worked phenomenal. 
They got in, well, not the first time. They clicked it, if they got in, they weren't getting out. I'm gonna go crazy with it coming this week. I'm gonna do an entire, like, I'm gonna lay, the, the entire backyard is gonna look like a minefield. It's gonna be marshmallows, honey buns. Like, we're gonna catch every raccoon in that freaking neighborhood and we're gonna go release them and, huh, and hope that they don't turn around and go, but now I don't know how to do it. I feel real comfortable in doing it myself. So we'll be good. We'll be good to go. If you guys need a video to watch, click on that one. If you guys have already seen that one, click on that one. If you guys haven't already, subscribe down below. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. I love every single one of you guys. And I'm about to do some beer right about.